Hi everyone, my name's John and this is Geography is Everything. Today we're going to look at the effects and responses of volcanic events. So just like earthquakes, people live in areas that can be impacted by volcanic eruptions. Some of these volcanic eruption impacts can be huge and really devastating for the local populations. So just like earthquakes, we have primary and we have secondary effects. So our primary effects include things such as buildings and infrastructure being destroyed by lava flows, pyroclastic flows, lava bombs and debris. We also have crops being destroyed by huge amounts of ash that might fall from the sky, destroying the crops in the local area. People can be also be injured from things such as falling debris, lava bombs, pyroclastic flows. The intake of ash can also cause people to suffocate and damage their lungs. Another major danger are gases, such as volcanic gases that are emitted from our volcano, suffocating and killing people and animals in the local vicinity. So secondary effects, those effects that happen after the event, can include lahars, which are effectively mud floats. These flow down mountains because water mixes in with the volcanic material. This water can come from heavy rainfall after the volcanic event or from ice melting, such as from glaciers or snow melting mountains. These can flow downhill incredibly fast, wiping out whole towns and villages and infrastructure as they go. Flooding is also a concern. If the volcano happens underneath an ice sheet or a glacier, that meltwater flows out incredibly fast, again, destroying towns, villages and infrastructure as it goes. Many people are evacuated from exclusion zones around volcanoes, meaning they can't get back to their homes and can't earn money, maybe from their farms or any other living they might have had. So they're gonna have impacts maybe long-term of not being able to work or at least work the land to make food for themselves. In local areas, tourists can be put off, meaning they don't come to the area anymore, meaning the area loses money. However, volcanoes are incredibly good draws for tourists as well. And quite often after the event, many, many tourists want to come and see what went on. You can see this happening in Iceland most recently in 2021, where people were flocking to the area to see the volcano erupting. I was one of those tourists. There I am. That's me. Look, it's me. Longer term, the ash can actually make the ground much more fertile. And that's why in LICs, we tend to find lots of people, especially subsistence farmers, living near volcanoes because the crops they can produce are much better because the ground is so fertile. These effects need responses, which like our earthquakes, need immediate straight away responses and more longer term responses as well. Immediate responses might be such as evacuating people, having an exclusion area around the volcano, especially if we know it's about to erupt. We also need to make sure people are provided with food, clean water and sanitation, as well as maybe temporary housing while they wait to go back to their areas. If you have people that are injured, we're going to make sure they're treated and treated well in hospitals to make sure they're able to recover. Foreign governments will send money and supplies and NGOs, those non-government organisations, will come in maybe with rescue teams, uh, tents, aid, anything that's needed to make the life of those local people who have been affected better. Longer term responses after the volcanic eruption has stopped and the area is deemed safe could be, for example, rebuilding local infrastructure, roads, housing, buildings, whatever it might be that needs to be rebuilt. We might need to reconnect our other infrastructure, such as our electricity cables, our sewage and water systems. We're going to want to review what we did and see what lessons we can learn. So we're going to look at our responses and make sure that any changes need to be changed are made. And actually, as a government, we might also want to encourage investment in the area and even encourage tourism to the area to see the volcano. So that's it, effects of and responses to a volcanic event. Please don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here. And don't forget to check out our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for geography related news. See you later.